Nikar scurried over the sounded pavement of Kapama and Plovdiv. She was mad that adults simply never listened to her. She promised herself she would never, ever use her voice again. Then suddenly, she felt like she was flying. Then time seemed to stop. And time started acting really weird. Surrender your voice to me. You said you wouldn't use it anymore, right? Well... I think you just made that promise. I was angry. Don't worry. Before you surrender your voice, I will show you how it works for new people. But who are you? I've been here since the beginning. I give a part of me to every human being. But not everyone knows how to make use of it. And it is more precious than gold. You can simply call me... Time. Your voice is an expression of your choice. And choice is an intrinsic human right and proof of freedom. It's the only way for you to create yourself the way you want to be. It is the choice to be different. To be first, to fight for your ideas and your point of view. In these lands as far back as ancient Rome, people have been expressing their will through voice. voice when no one wants to hear what I'm saying. Perhaps you're still very young. But know that everyone can share and defend their opinion. And when others share it too, that voice will sound like thunder. That's what happened to your country too. For a long time, Bulgaria couldn't make decisions for herself. Even when she gained her freedom, a part of it remained outside. That part was called Eastern Rumelia, and Plovdiv was at its heart. But a human being that strives for freedom knows no fear. So then one man spoke on behalf of everybody else. When our flags fly high, and we attempt to do a sacred deed for a high and noble goal, in the best interest of progress and civilization, then enlightened Europe, who holds the key to our destiny, will endorse our sacred act. And this is exactly where the spark first flew. Bulgaria was whole and independent once again, a part of Europe.
also probably no one in Europe hears her voice. Quite the opposite. That is the idea of democracy. Everyone lends their voice to the ideas they believe in. And then the majority makes the decision. I want to use my voice to change the world. 